So once we talked about inheritance and method overloading as well, right? We have talked about method overloading. In this video, let's talk about method overriding. That's right. So we have two different uh, method overloading and method overriding. So let's talk about overriding here. So for that, what I will do is I will just try to keep it simple again. And let's use the class A. And inside this class A, let's say we have a method. So I will just remove this part. And here I will say public void show. Just to keep it simple, I'm using a very simple example here, which is a show which prints something. Let's say it prints in show. Okay. Now, if you have a method inside a class, of course, you can create the object and you can call the method, right? And we have seen that. So let's say if I go back to my main method, if I say a obj equal to new a, and I can simply say obj dot show and it will work, right? And it should work. That's what we have done from a long time. So let's compile this code and uh, run and you can see it's, it prints in show just to keep it simple we have we have went with a very simple example now what i want to do is i want to get a class which is class b and i want this class b to extend class a and of course when you talk about inheritance this method of show it also will be available inside class b right so if i create object of class b here instead of a it will also work because that's how inheritance works right so if I go back, compile and run, it works. You can see we got in show. What I will do now is I will also print in a show just to differentiate that this is getting printed in the A class. Okay. Now the thing is, what if you want to have a different definition of it? Okay. Why do we need different definition? Let's say we got two methods here, public void config. So let's say we have this method which is called config. I don't know what it, it will do. Just to keep it simple, I will just say s out and i will say this is in a config okay and let's say they have different implementation they have different statements at this point we are not focusing on statements we are here to understand the concept right so let's say it does something show method and config does something and i, I can actually call both the methods not just one i can call config as well okay and if i compile and run this code it works you can see it says in a show in a config now let's say I want a different definition for show, okay, not for config. So basically what I want is when, when it comes to B and when I call show, it should print in B show. How do I do that? How do I change the execution? So what I want is when I call show, it should not call the show of A because show of A will print in A show. I want to use config as it is. So I can't even remove this inheritance. If I remove this and if I define the methods, of course I can define show but then I want this config to be coming from A. So of course you have to keep it. You have to say class B extends A because we want config. What we don't want of A is show because it is printing in A show. I want to do something else. In that scenario, you can say public void show. You can write the same method name or maybe a different name. You can say in show one, I mean show one, and you can print here in B show. I mean, of course you can do this. The only thing is if you come, if you execute this code now, it will still print in a show. You know why is because we are calling show and both these methods are different. One with name show and one with name show one. Okay. Uh, that means if I call show one, then it will work. Then it will print in B show. But what I want is I want them to have a same name. I want my, this method, which is show should override the method here. Is it possible? And the answer is yes. In Java, we get this amazing feature where you can basically override the methods of the parent class. So of course you want everything except this part. Okay. I mean, except this show method. I want config, but I don't want show. Now let me give you one more example here. Remember when we talked about inheritance, I have used an example where I was not having any phone in my 10 standard and my father had a phone, which is double three one zero. Now, if you ask me at that point which phone I have, I used to say 3310 because that's my father's phone. But after two years, when I was in my 12th standard, I got my own phone. I got Motorola C168. Again, a, uh, not a smartphone, but it was good. It was a very slim phone. So when now, if you ask me which phone I have, I, was, I will say I have Motorola C168. My father still had 3310. So here, if you can see, if someone asks my father, father will say, I have 3310. If you ask me, I have a choice of saying 3310, but I will go for C168, which is my phone, right? So you always give preference to your own features first. Example, if you call show here, 
it will execute the method of B instead of executing the method of A. So basically this method show overrides the method of A here. And we can simply execute, compile and run. You can see it's, it prints in B show. Now this will make much more sense when we say we are creating not a A, but we are creating a calculator, which has a method called, let's say, uh, let me remove config for some time. Let's say that we have a method called uh, add, and this will return a value, okay? And here, instead of printing this, I can simply accept two values. I can say int n1, comma int n2. And here, we have done this before, and that's why I'm writing this code very fast. I can say return n1 plus n2, okay? So if your class, which is, instead of saying b, I can say advanced calc, which is extending calc, it will also have some features. But let's say I want to add two numbers, which will also take int, and it will have the same parameter, okay? Because in method overloading, we have seen, it can have the same method name, but different parameters. Here, in method overriding, it will be same name, same parameters as well. I mean, same type of parameters, not the name, doesn't matter, name. Uh, let's say n1, n2. And it will have the same name, same number of parameters, same type of parameters, but it will have a different behavior. Let's say n1 plus n2 plus one. I'm just adding extra one there. So what I want is if I come in this section, okay, at this point, I'm not overriding it. I just have add method inside calc. And if I create the object of advanced calculator by saying advanced calculator obj equal to new advanced calculator. And if I try to call the add method by passing three and four, of course, three and four is seven. So if I get this value somewhere, if I say int r1 is equal to, and if I print the value for r1, and again, since we have done this code before, I'm just typing it fast. Now, what do you think? What will be the output? I'm passing three and four. So of course, it will first search for this method add inside the same class. Of course, we don't have that method. So it will go to the upper class by saying, uh, hey, you know, uh, calc, you are my parent class. I'm searching for add with you. And yes, it is available. So basically we can just compile this code and run. You can see we got seven and that actually works. But now I want a different definition for add. I just want some changes. Instead of adding those two numbers, it should also add one at the end, okay? So if I compile this code now and run, it will print eight. So this add is overriding the add method of calculator. Okay, just remove this statement, that's extra. So this concept is called method overriding. So this method is overriding the method here. I hope that makes sense. So this is method overriding. In fact, there is one more trick here, which we'll discuss in the next video.